Hi guys, sorry I couldn't get this audio to you yesterday. We had some tech difficulties. Um, so today I'd like to read you the pre-reading story. It's called The Middle Seat. It was two hours into the ride and Grace was trying not to scream. Her mother's suitcase bumped heavily against her with each pothole in the road. The storm outside made it nearly impossible for her to read her book. To make things worse, Grace was stuck in the car's middle seat. Luggage on one side and her five-year-old brother Brendan on the other. Grace glanced over at her brother. He had behaved so far, but she guessed he'd soon find a way to make the drive miserable. Her family had made the same trip last year, and the drive had been a nightmare. So Grace had done everything she could to avoid the middle seat when her parents had started planning this year's trip. She told them about the suitcases bumping her. She described how Brendan loved to copy everything she did. She explained those reasons and more very seriously. But here she was again in the middle seat. Hey, Grace, said Brendan, interrupting her thoughts. Know what I did in school yesterday? No, but I'm sure you'll tell me, answered Grace. Pedro was crying because he had no friends to help him tie his shoes. I felt bad, so I tied his shoes with my special double knot. This was not what Grace had expected to hear. Brendan's stories usually involved pretend pirate battles or becoming a ninja. They did not include helping out a lonely kid. I'm proud of you, whispered Grace. As she said this, she realized how true it really was. Her little brother was growing up. Somehow, she had not noticed this before. They talked throughout the rest of the trip, and even though the suitcase still bumped into her sometimes, she did not mind being in the middle seat. I want you to think now that we're done reading about what Grace did before her family started to plan the trip. Remember, she was thinking about the last trip they went on. So think about what she did before they planned the trip. I also want you to think about the events that caused her to change her mind during the trip. She changed her mind about her brother. Think about what happened that made her change her mind about her brother. And my third question for today is how does the writer show that Grace has changed at the end of the story? So think back, how did she change at the end of the story and what words did she say to her brother that showed that she had changed her mind? I'll be right back with our reading of Glory, who might be my best friend. <laughs> 